Now this might sound familiar. You're at the office typing away when bam, a bird smashes into the window. In cities in Taiwan and around the world, glass windows are one of the top killers of birds. This happens because birds don't understand reflective or transparent surfaces and are unable to see windows as solid barriers. But many bird collisions can be prevented. Tonight in our Sunday special report, we meet the experts who are trying to make our cities safer for our feathered friends. I am a Muller's Barbet, a bird endemic to Taiwan. Like all birds, my favorite thing is flying freely in the sky. Occasionally, I perch myself on treetops. When I get hungry, I look for little bugs and fruit to fill my stomach. There are trees here, some grassland, and pools, so it's easy for birds to want to gather here. Because birds have a higher metabolism, they are always looking for food. Green areas like this have lots of food and insects, so they are always coming back here. To be able to lightly take to the skies, birds like me have lightweight skeletons composed mostly of hollow bones. Birds have hollow bones because in order to fly, they need to be lightweight, so their bones are hollow. This is why when they run into something, they are prone to bone fractures. Their injuries are more severe than ours would be. On this day, the weather is especially beautiful. I stand on a treetop and cast my gaze. Right in front of my eyes, there is a large, dense forest. I spread my wings and fly at full speed toward the large forest. I never could have expected that this flight would bring my life to an end. Humans have a name for what happened to me. They call it a window kill. It turns out that I am not the only victim. In the U.S. alone, up to one billion birds die each year after crashing into windows. In Taiwan, the most common site of window kills is school campuses. This is Luming Plaza at National Taiwan University. Because there are many trees here, whenever they fruit, this place becomes a restaurant for birds. It attracts large flocks of birds. Jenny Xie and Claire Khan are members of NTU's task force for window kills. The issue came to their attention after they noticed the birds that were dropping dead on campus. On the task force, they put their observation skills to use to tackle the problem. Why are there so many birds that die from window collisions on campus? We would say it's because the campus takes all three boxes. The three boxes are, first, lots of buildings. The second is, lots of trees. The third is, lots of people. When there are lots of buildings, there are more structures with windows, so it's easier for birds to smash into them. Since 2020, students at NTU have taken steps to reduce window collisions by birds. Let's take the location we're at now. This is a location where quite a few window kills occur. There are actually two reasons why a bird might fly into a window. The first reason is windows like that one over there. That piece of glass is very transparent. So if a bird wants to get to the place behind the glass, it will fly right into the glass and be injured. So we'd say that the reason here is the see-through pane. The other reason is windows like these over there. Perhaps a bird wants to go to the foliage that is reflected on the mirror-like surface. It looks into that mirror image and then smashes into it, resulting in injuries or death. This type of incident is called a reflective window kill. That is to say, the perception of birds is confused by the reflective or transparent surface of glass. They don't realize it is a solid barrier when they crash into it, and the result is death or injury. Hey, 
This is the office of the Raptor Research Group of Taiwan, which often takes in injured birds. Veterinarian Wang Lingming is director of the association's rescue center. She is also Taiwan's foremost advocate for measures that prevent window collisions. Because this one ran into glass, it might have a slight spinal injury. Just now, when we opened the box, it didn't get up on its feet. But that might be because it's somewhat nervous. That might be why it didn't stand up. The crested goshawk sometimes does this. Because it had crashed into glass, we will place it in a padded cage for observation to see if it can stand on its own. Among the 70 to 80 crested goshawks that come to the station each year, about one quarter of them have injuries from crashing into glass. If the bird is raptor or other wild bird that's more robust, when it crashes into glass, it will crash at greater speed. You can imagine that a crash at high speed and a crash at low speed will have different impacts. With a more robust bird, a crash could mean death on the spot. Birds of prey that are sent to the rescue station in time have a shot at recovery. But even so, many will never be able to take to the skies again. One way to reduce the chance of a crash is placing stickers on windows. To be effective, the stickers have to be placed in a specific density. We can use what's known as a 5 by 10 rule. In the U.S., they use inches, so they use the rule of 2 by 4. What do I mean by the rule of 5 by 10? That describes the density of your sticker pattern. From left to right, the spacing is 10 centimeters at most. From top to bottom, the spacing must be within 5 centimeters. This means that from top to bottom, there must be a sticker on the window every 5 centimeters. From left to right, there must be a sticker every 10 centimeters. This specific arrangement is needed to change how birds perceive the surface of the window. Office buildings and residential towers are encased in vast expanses of glass, which serve as a death trap for birds. A piecemeal strategy may not be enough to address this problem, which calls for a more top-down approach. In 2019, New York enacted a bill on this. The bill pertains to all updated or new buildings on the lowest seven floors of each building. Bird-friendly materials must be used on 90% of building exteriors. New York became one of America's most bird-friendly cities by requiring bird-safe glass in its laws to reduce collision risk. There's dotted glass and ultraviolet reflecting glass. Dotted glass is like the edge glass that this text describes. Dots are etched onto the surface of the glass. The glazing treatment that I mentioned earlier can also produce this dotted pattern. The other type of glass is UV reflecting glass. As you can see on the left here, the glass produces very light vertical or horizontal stripes. As birds fly past, they may perceive this glass as a fence or a forest. Such glass technologies can keep birds from crashing to their deaths. But one key to their large-scale adoption is cost. It must be said that most architects rule out using this. It's not because they don't care about society. It's because in Asia's construction environment, architects are actually very burdened by cost considerations. They don't want to give the client too much of a burden. Some might contend that wild birds dying is nothing to make a fuss about, let alone to create laws about. But birds play a crucial role in Taiwan's ecosystem. As cities expand and natural habitats shrink, birds will need more and more help with navigating our world.